Hello, on this web page, you can try out the mesh software. Um, this is not a big software right now, it's uh, very small, just get a start. You can extract the uh, zip file, and there's two executables in them. Uh, basically, the mesh state monitoring tool, which I have on the screen right now. This will display the current state of the mesh agent on the machine in a graphical form, so it's kind of nice to look at. And the mesh agent itself. Now, the mesh agent is the console version, and I'm running it right here. Um, now, as soon as you run this, it will start creating a certificate. The state monitor tool will display the, uh, the, your own computer, basically at the center of the screen, and then it will broadcast and try to find other nodes on the network. Now, as you can see here, I do have other nodes on the network, so they're going to start showing up on the screen. So the first step for your own node is to start authenticating and um, getting encryption keys from all the other uh, nodes on the network. Now the second step will be to acquire the state of all the other nodes and see to what other nodes those are connected to. So you get like um, uh, a second degree of connection. Now in the state monitor tool there's different ways of displaying the graphics on the screen. So this is one of them. You can do Alt 1, Alt 2, and Alt 3 and it will display the graphic in uh, different forms. Now, I personally do like uh, ALT3 very, uh, very well, and this will display uh, the graph here. Now, you notice that all the arrows are bidirectional. It is possible for two nodes to, um, to monitor each other, but it's also uh, a unidirectional graph. So basically, a node can monitor another node, but uh, it doesn't have to be uh, both ways. So this is basically it. The, um, the graph will change live as devices are added or removed from the network. The, um, of course, these, there's a limit to how many uh, other devices the uh, a given node will monitor. So if you have a very, very large network, basically there's an automatic balancing system so that one given node will only monitor a few other ones, but it's built in such a way that, um, that there's no uh, there's a relatively equal distance between any node and any, any other node on the network. So that's it for this trial. It's quite simple, and uh, this gets you started in the mesh. Now, as we use this infrastructure um, and we build it and develop it, we're going to go and build usages on top of it. So uh, there's a whole bunch of different things we're going to talk about um, building on top of this architecture. Thank you.